love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 don't need a bank no I'm funded play the game a warm welcome to you all without further delay we are pleased to introduce your new manager it's time to look at the enemy look in the mirror if he is no friend to me it's not working now maybe it's the chemistry it's time to break up so I can make a better me better believe in your mind cause it's everything you can mold shape find almost anything all it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity it's mine Welcome to episode 17 of this Road to Glory Youth Edition with Grinch Pitan. We will start this episode in with, of course, four games. Playing Cambridge at home on the 19th of August. Then a couple days later, we're going to play West Bromwich Albion away in the Cup. Then we're taking on the current league leader, Bolton, on the 26th. We're playing them away. And we end the episode with a Cup game home at... Uh, sorry, we're playing Stevenage at home. Those are the four games and then on the 31st the transfer window will shut so we'll go through that and then we'll end the episode. So we have a pretty packed episode. We have four decent games coming up I should say. I'm a little worried. Both Cambridge and, and Bolton in the league is going to be really hard. West Bromwich, we'll see. We'll see what happens in this episode because when I look at it like this, it could easily be four losses. But we're not going to be that negative, are we? So I think we should head into the Cambridge game straight away. And we're going to go with the goal to win, of course, and shake them. We're playing at home, so that is an advantage for us, I hope. Let's go check it out. We are playing at Blundell Park. And, uh, forecast says overcast without further ado we are going to head into the first game taking on Cambridge buckle up let's go we have the kickoff and we are heading well we're starting the game now Mohammed will kick it off Naylor gets the ball check Ali Hansen we are rolling around so we have that one Mohammed got the ball. Oh, Nail is going. He, he gets the ball. Griffith comes in with the cross. Oh, we almost got there. Taking the shot. Oh, we have a beautiful start. Griffith with his first goal for Great Britain. Thank you. We got to head that ball down and Griffith took it instantly. He shot directly, he didn't wait. He just looked at the control shot. Keepers touched that one, but it's still a goal. That's so close that he saved it. So we go a goal up in the 12th minute. Charlie Griffith scores his first of well, it's first of hopefully many <laughs> for Grimsby Town. We want to come into the halftime with a one all draw at least. And here they come to change that. Oh, straight at the corner. Taking it. Oh, he's just trying to keep the defenders away from him. Hanlon overlaps. He comes with a. We don't really have one. Well, Let's go back to Griffith. We don't have anyone in the box. We have one, that's Mohammed. We need more players than just one. Taking the shot. Oh, Mohammed finds the back of the net with a nice turn. At halftime, just before the whistle. That's beautiful. He turns around beautifully and he shoots towards the far post. Look at this. Turns around and takes it. He gets that little two yards or two feet I should say away from his defender because his defender slips and the keeper is I don't know what he's doing and that is half time we walk into half time with two goal lead all of a sudden that was beautiful I'll take it so they kick the second half off we are two goals up 45 minutes away from three points 
Oh, it's gonna be tough, but it's a good, it could be worse. At least we are two goals up, and we won that one, beautiful. Dwingas gets the ball. Makes a few oversteps there. Mohamed, wait for Naylor to go. And he finds Naylor with perfect pass. Naylor takes a far shot and easy goal. He just tries to get it next to the keeper. Doesn't even take, he doesn't even shoot that, I mean that hard. He just, look at the replay, he just plays the ball, you know, next to the keeper. And that's all it takes. He's all alone and he slows down here. And he just tries to get next to it. Beautiful Nailer. Thank you, Nailer. Oh, we missed that one. Check made up. So clear this one. Win it. Okay. Takes a shot from a bad angle. Akuna got no problem with that one. Chasing him on the wing, trying to push him up. Going in with a slide and he missed that one. And here they come. Block. Beautiful. Sky is it. Oh, what the number stumbles and he gets shot from behind, but does this play on? Okay, Agiman gets into the center. No, nope. too soon. Oh, what to save! Svensson came like a bullet there to hand the ball. Look at that. Nice cross. And he throws himself down in the ground. That's a beautiful save from the keeper. It's not easy when it goes, when you know, when you bounce the ball in the ground because of the angle, it's really hard to save those. But he did a great job. Do we have any of the towers up there? Can we find them? Oh, we can, but we had the bar. Ali with a beautiful, beautiful, like a tower, we rose up above everyone else and just headed from the bar. That was a nice, but then some sessions just stand still. Okay, so let's come across. <laughs> what a save. Agiman is all alone in the box. We Oh, here they go, and that's it, 89th minute when the clean sheet is gone, it was just a matter of time though, iron side with a nice strike, too bad, comes on the wing again, can he come with another cross, oh it's too close to the keeper this time, game should be over now, we're in the fifth overtime minute of five and that's the referee's whistle and we have a 3-1 win, Three beautiful points for Grimsby Town against Cambridge at home. Love that. I have calculated four losses in this episode, so I'm happy to be proven wrong. But yeah, we did well. Our defense worked, you know? We played a really solid defense. Just made a, a few mistakes. One of them resulted in their goal, but you know, it's gonna be, that's gonna happen. The Griffith Mohammed Naylor scores Ironside for Cambridge 3-1, three, 3 points, thank you We are going to take on the second game of this episode Playing West Bromwich at the Hawthorns um, Forecast is clear It's a cup game and I'm going with the, the reserve team Meaning that Lucas will be in between the sticks We have McIntosh, North, Jensen, Galardo and Collins in defense line Coleman Osborne as the central midfielders. We have Watanabe and Svensson on the wings and we have Agiaman up on top. Now, Agiaman is sitting on a crucial contract. He doesn't like the fact that, that Mohamed is, is playing instead of him in the first team. So he has started to complain a little. I've put him on the loan list to see, will he get the bid or not? I was hoping to, to, to keep Agiaman throughout the series. He's the one. He's one of those that had a, a, a nice potential, and then now, after the first season, he's not having any potential at all. So, I think I think the broken dynamic potential and the sharpness has, has he's a victim of that because he played really well. He played almost all the games last season, so it makes really no sense. But I put him on the loan list to see if anyone will take him as a loan because then he might be all right not you know otherwise i think he's gonna complain because he's sitting on a crucial we are just heading into this game can we go through the cup 
can come to the next round. I doubt it, but we're gonna do whatever we can to, to make it happen. So, buckle up. Let's go. So we'll kick this game off. Agumon finds Osborne that of course does one of those spin around for no reason because he can. Oh okay. Oh this is not good. Yeah, we, we have to start thinking about the future. So this oh this is such a nice play. We are a goal down early. Lucas cannot stop that one. They found a huge hole in our defense line in the sixth minute but yeah it's a, it's a nice finish too kicking it off we need to, to be extra careful Taking a shot, oh, it's wide. Wonder if we can fight back in this one. That's a nice, that's such a nice finish. He bounces it and goes. The keeper is there and touches it, but he cannot. That's a really nice. Finish. Look at that. Boom. Bounced over the keeper and into the goal via the bar. That's just beautiful. Grant with a beauty. Pushes it down in the ground and then bounces it over as a bouncing bag. Amazing. So we are two goals down in the 24th and let's just say that. I think the adventure of the Carabao Cup is over soon. I don't think we can actually pull through. Um, West Brom is just such a strong team. And I'm happy they're not in League One. Because they're in Championship, I think. I haven't even checked. Are they in League One? No. That's three goals this year. They are destroying us. Ouch. Grant again. So we need to step up, otherwise this could be a horrific. Well, it's gonna be a horrific result, but it's gonna be even worse. We are three goals down after just half an hour play. Oh, that's, a, that's a horrible shot. Svensson gets killed from behind. I don't think he's happy with that. I hope he's not injured though, because he. They took him for a little flight. Yeah, he's not happy. But it's a yellow. That's, it's so late. It's so much just from behind. There is no... The ball is like a couple of feet in front of... So many wrongs in that one. So many wrongs. Now, can that... Osborne finds the back of the net with a nice curl, top in, beautiful free kick. 3-1, wasn't expecting that to be honest. It's a good goal. Let's have a, a look at that. So Ospel scores his third goal of the season, giving us actually a little, it's a nicer loss. Because we scored a goal. He didn't want to run to the rebound, he just, I don't know what he was doing. Beautiful takeout. Just nice tackle. Again, oh you are so slow, but you still get the ball and take the shot and find the back of the net. That is beautiful. We have a 3-2 game. A minute left the first half. And never give up, I guess. We got contact. Wow. So we are into overtime of the first half. We have actually three goals to two. Uh, 
takes the shot. Close. We're gonna make two substitutions. Gordon and Jones are gonna enter the field, and Coleman and Watanabe will leave. Come on, get there, get there. Oh, oh. Beautiful, beautiful finish. We have a 4 2 game. Is that Grant with a hat trick? That's a really nice finish. Classic top thing. Can't, the thing is, you can't blame Lucas for any of the goals. You can't really blame the, the, the defense line either. But from behind, from Gordon, that's a yellow card. North is trying to. Oh, he's coming with a hard slide too. It's a lot of hard, rough tackles now, just trying to. That's a penalty. I don't know how many yellow cards we deserve that, but McIntosh got to himself. Yeah, it kind of takes him off. It's too bad. We have probably 5 2 game. It's two minutes left to play of the overtime, so this is probably the last thing that's going to happen. Oh, he makes a big save. Nice. Samson gets the ball. Taking it hard. Oh, Agiman almost could squeeze himself between the ball there and the defender. And that is game. We are out of the Carabao Cup after a full goal to two loss against West Brom, which I'll win. Carl and Grant with a hat trick. They were just better than us. I have no other excuses. They are just, they were, they were really better than us. They had some really nice finishes. Lesson learned, you know? We'll have to take this. We are now ready for the third game of this episode, taking on Bolton away at the Macron Stadium. Uh, Overcast is supposed to be what we are facing. And we are going with the first team, of course. Um, I think Bolton is un undefeated uh, this season. We're only five games in, so we have to keep that in mind. But they are undefeated still. They are actually second now in the league. We will have a look at the league table after this game, but so we are in for a treat. <laughs> it's gonna be rough, but we're gonna do what we can to get at least a point. So buckle up, let's go. So they will kick the game off. We are having some slight lag issues. Um, oh, here they come. Coming full force from start. If it's alone in his wing now, well, not alone, but you know. Taking the shot. Oh, that's a big save. We have a first shot towards goal, an ass goal, and that's a big, beautiful save. We are having a kickoff, and we have. As I just saw, we have some severe lags in the op studio when it's uh, not the gameplay. The gameplay looks all right, but as soon as there's a replay or something like that, it just... Oh, that's a nasty tackle from behind. Gets a yellow card. We should go short because there's no reason for us to, to try and inflict this one. In. Take the shot. It's a... Beautiful save. Probably should have taken the ball with him there. Oh. For the past seconds, and that can, you know, he can punch us very fast. It's a long range shot, but there's a nice, beautiful save from Akuna. Just about to take a finesse shot. I thought I had a good angle, but they didn't want that. <laughs> they wanted nothing to do with that, so they just took the ball from instead. Here they come. Takes the shot. He finds the back of the net with the finesse shot from a distance. That's what I wanted to do, but I couldn't. He, okay, he turns around and he just finesse shots it. Gets it over. So they score with a beauty from a distance, and, and there's not much of a, a replay you could see of that because of the lag. And that's a horrific tackle. 
it was a handball. So we need to win this now. No, we don't. We don't want the second goal. We still have a chance for one all. Hansen's on the wing. He's cutting the side. Oh, he just... That was not the best move, Sansa. It's a really bad move, actually. Oh, that's a nice... They are going to score now. Yeah, they deserve it. I couldn't get the right play then. Beautiful. Just... Alright. Get it in there. It would be nice to have a goal, you know? Mohamed. And he finds it back on the net with a beautiful strike in the 90th minute. Well, here it is again. And wow, just look how close that is. It's the perfect finish in the end. So it's a 2 1. And we are at overtime now. Get it. Oh, it's a 4 minute overtime. We, we could, if we're lucky, get one more chance to score. If we're lucky. But. <clears throat> they don't want anything to do with that. They're just, no, we're not going to get that. They're holding the ball and just passing it around. Playing very smart. We can't get to the ball. And the game's over. They played off those minutes at overtime like a boss, you know? We have a 2 1 loss. A rough, rough, rough. Last episode, oh, last, last game of this episode is at the cup game now. So we're gonna head to that, but after that we're gonna check the league table because I don't know. We did win one and we lost one, so hopefully we still remain in the, like top ten. Tough loss, but they were so much better. We are now ready for the last game of this episode, playing Stevenage. It's gonna be rough, of course. <laughs> We are playing our reserve team. Uh, we can see McIntosh, North, Jensen, Gallardo and Collins are in the defensive line. We have Coleman and Osborne as the mid central midfielders. We have Watanabe, Svensson, the wingers. And we have Agiaman who is having a loan bid. He'll probably leave us after this game. Uh, but that's just how it is. Um, we'll have to accept that. We also received a bid on Jones, the left. The, well, yeah, he was also he's also a left winger. Um, Oviedo went for him, so it's a big club. Hopefully, he will accept that because that could give us some money for the scouts. I think we accepted a bid at one point three million um, pounds, which actually that would help us a lot when it's you know regarding getting better scouts. So let's do this now. We're gonna go, of course, we're playing at Blundell Park. It's supposed to rain, but it doesn't have to be that bad for us. We're also gonna have a quick look at the league table after this. We're gonna check the Youth Academy. We're gonna close the transfer windows. We have a lot of stuff to do because we need to get another striker into the team. We have one on the free transfer. That I could bring in, but I think we have two one 15 year old, maybe at, we have a 617 year old striker in the academy, and I think it's time to get the academy player up instead of going for a free transfer player. So, even though free transfer player is probably a lot better, um, it would make more sense to, to bring it from the youth academy. So, that's what we're gonna do now. Without further ado, buckle up. So, we are ready now for the kickoff against Stevenage. The Papa Jones Trophy, the, the trophy that everyone wants to win. Yeah, oh wow. McIntosh brought the ball down with a back heel that's kind of cheeky. He has, I didn't know he has those skills. And he has a defender chasing him, apparently. He not afraid of getting tackled because he's playing yeah Coleman Collins Sanson Sanson gets right come make a run there no it's too far away 
We won that one. Taking a shot from distance. Taking another shot from distance, but it's not too bad though. It's a good effort. We are. Well, the thing is with the Papa Jones, like no one cares about it. We don't want to win it. Well, of course, if we would get far, we will of course try to win. But the thing is, it's good to get. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I give my one and I said, it's good to get games for the reserve team. And that's a positive. It's just a good. So hopefully we can remain it. That's a nice cross again. He goes in between the defenders. He finds the back of the net with a nice header. Thank you. And that is of course again second goal of the season. Thought about that. I thought we had a zero zero draw. I was just gonna say that I get knocked out from behind. Oh, so red. Wow. Coleman is trying to work himself back. Oh, here they come. We don't want them to go. Oh, don't let them score now. They are a man. Yeah, they're a man down, but they find the back of the net. A nice, beautiful finish. We're gonna make a few substitutions soon. Oh, that's a nasty challenge from behind, too. Butash. This game. Oh, that should be an offside, but apparently it's not. I wonder who was. This guy's from the lane. Gordon's. Oh, that's a nice pass. And that's a 2 1 goal. Yeah. I don't even know what the second team is for us. Oh, that's such a nice pass. And that's a 3 1. And we are getting killed. And he is looking so slow, so tight. He just got into here. You know, he should have so much power in his legs, but sadly, he doesn't. He has none. Gordon takes a shot, Gordon. Oh, that's a nice goal. Beautiful Gordon. Long shot. 87th minute now. We are a goal down. But Get there, guys. Nope. Nope. And we lost. It's a three goals to two loss. Yeah, but they were better than us. I can't really... can't make excuses and I can't complain. They, they were just better than us. We had, we had some chances. We couldn't take care of them. And we'll have to accept this loss. That's just how it is. Papa Jones, a loss. I give man Gordon for us. Yeah, I'll have to take this. So the league is looking like this. We are sitting eighth with 10 points in six games, three wins and a draw. And we have two losses. It's not too bad. Bolton is still undefeated in the league. Yeah, they have four wins and two losses. Oh, sorry, two draws. And it's looking good. Uh, the 10 points makes us at least, you can see, well, all the way down to 15th, they are seven, they're three points behind us. So a win from Derby County would take us up, to, well, take them up to the same points as us. It's it's a tight league and it's always tight. It's only six games, there's 40 games left to play. So the transfer window shut and we did a few things on the deadline day. We we had Macintosh out on loan to Ligan. Uh, we did sell Delaney to Walsall for 420,000 pounds. Uh, we sold Coleman to Pisa. Um, I did not expect to get a bid on him. And the Serie B in Italy, I figured if you're a League One player and you get an offer like that, maybe you would accept it. So I did accept it, but I, I, I you know, I went for a little more, 1.965. And they accepted right away, so I probably should have gone for 2.5. I was a little worried, but a little scared, but I was like, yeah, well, at least there's almost 2 million pounds for Coleman, and that is, that's a good thing. We're gonna, we're gonna put Coleman on our, our um, transfer list, so to say, to, you know, to monetize their development, so we can always buy him back later on. So that's the same with Delaney. Delaney and, and Coleman are gonna be monetized. Um, Agiman went out on loan to Cagliari, so 
the Italian league has really they have picked a few players from us. Uh, we have Jones. He went for 1.350 to Oviedo. Uh, Campbell went out on loan. Farmer has gone out on loan. He went to Sud Tirol. We sold Drew to Harrogate. Harrogate, sorry, for pounds. Mackey has been sold to Varnamo. Uh, we went. Well, Bird went out on loan to Martino, and we have Kovacevic sold to Valladolid for nine million. Gallardo came in as a free agent. Kiss was sold for 250,000 to Goa, FC Goa. Uh, White House sent, went to loan on, to Salford. Crespo came in as a free agent. Morgan, he went out on loan to Basek here. And he is, you know, well, he, we can always recall him. He's a, he's a good goalkeeper. But we do have Lucas and we have Acuna. Uh, Corona was sold, this is Nacho of course, Nacho Corona, to Fenerbach for 3.750 million pounds. Czech came in as a free agent, we got Griffith from the free agency, Dominguez came in from the free agents, we, we were really good at the free agents there. We had scouted a few and brought them all in. Ali came in, Akuna came in, Mohammed came in, Collins, and that's it. But that's a, that's a big transfer, I mean, a lot of players came, came to the team, a lot of players left us. So that is it, the episode is done, we have played our four games, we have closed the transfer window, we have checked out our little youth academy and everything is just looking alright. We hope that you have enjoyed this one, <clears throat> and when I say we, I mean me and of course Hodgson, the manager of, of Grimsby Town. Um, Take good care of yourself, stay safe, stay healthy, and smash this like button like there's no tomorrow. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do. When you subscribe, you'll notice there's a little notification bell just right to the subscription button. If you tick that one and you tick it on all, you'll be notified every time I drop new content, which is always a good thing. That's actually two thumbs up. Now, take care of yourself, be kind to each other. I'll see you in the next episode. Till then. One up. What?